It's another episode of Fly Me to the Philippines. Rob, check out our house overlooking the Cagayan de Oro River. You know, Chrissy, this episode today is all about real estate. What it costs to rent a property like the one we're in right here with this view of the pool and the view of the uh, ridge. We're getting a lot of email and people are asking, what do we pay? It's 50,000 pesos a month before utilities. And what are the other lots available? Where can they get a property like this? And they also want to know, Chrissy, where can they get a Filipino like you? Mm -hmm. And there's also a lot of people that are asking how to find the perfect house here in the Philippines. We're going to take you on a tour from Davao to Cagayan de Oro to Baguio, high up in the mountains with good weather, to Cebu City and to the vlogging capital of the Philippines, Dumaguete. So, Chrissy, we picked these five cities, and what we're going to do is we're going to take everybody on a tour of what rental properties cost. And we're going to show you 200 U.S. dollar per month properties, 8,000 peso per month properties. We're going to show you 50, 60, 70,000 peso per month properties. Now, we've got a spectacular view overlooking the river, which is just mind-boggling. We got lucky like i got okay. lucky when i met you um it, it's going to be hard to find a ridge property um, there are about 10 or 15 gated subdivisions in this uptown area of cagayan de oro and some of those subdivisions will have properties on the ridge similar to this one and some of them will be hilly and they'll be up on a hill, like our last mm -hmm. property was a little bit on top of a hill, and we had a nice breeze, we had really good views out the window. Now, we didn't have this view, but you can find, like look, right now, we're having a heat wave. The breeze right now, Chrissy, mm -hmm. is just crazy. Um, it's pretty hot in the house, but out here it's just gorgeous, up here on the ridge. So yeah. you can find properties here in Cagayan de Oro. And Chrissy, we've talked about other cities where you can get elevation and good weather. Yes, like they can try Bukidnon province, they can try Valencia, Bukidnon, and also there are a lot here in the Philippines, especially here in Mindanao where there's a lot of mountains. A lot of mountains. So we, uh, you, you hear a lot about Dumaguete, but most of the expats live in the hills of Valencia, the different Valencia, about a 15-minute ride up the hill. They get to about 800,000 feet of elevation, and they claim they in the evening they don't need air conditioning. They open the windows, and it's quite comfortable. Now, also, Davao is nestled on the other side of the, the five-hour drive uh, through the mountains past Malabalai. Uh, in five-hour drive, you'll get to Davao, which is the second biggest city in the Philippines. It's kind of considered the safest and the cleanest in mm -hmm. a way. The former president used to be the mayor there. His son's the mayor there now. And um, I had somebody write me and say that uh, it, it's got more to offer than Cagayan de Oro. It's the best part of the Bukinans are on the Davao side. Samal Island is right across the way. Yeah. There's resorts there. It kind of has miles and miles of nice beaches. It doesn't really turn its back on the beach like a lot of Philippine cities. And uh, they thought the weather was a little better there, too. Now, it does get a little bit of earthquake activity. I think in every places here in the Philippines, you can really find a place that will suit you or your, will suit of the place that you desire, just like how you will find your Filipina. Yeah, and the problem is you don't know what you don't know. Like you're sitting there in the West, you're thinking about coming to the Philippines, you're wanting to know how far your money mm -hmm. will go. You see me living here with Chrissy in this house, this spectacular view, we're not having to turn the air conditioner around 11 months a year. And you're wanting to figure out how to make that happen and what's possible for you. So today, we're going to jump right in. We're going to start with Davao. Davao is a really large city. And if you don't have plans to get a scooter or to rent a car, you're going to have a little bit of trouble with your transportation budget. Mm -hmm. So it's a big city. It's got really good medical care. It's clean. It's well-organized city. So, Chrissy, um, this is a Facebook group. It's called Davao House Rental for Sale and rent. And we've talked about this before. You can contact a realtor um, and they'll show you all the properties. But in our case, and I used to own a brokerage in Arizona, mm -hmm. every property that we were interested in, including this house we found here, was listed in the local Facebook group. Every city's going to have a Facebook group, maybe several. You might want to sign up for both. And that's where these house listings are going to be. So this first house, Chrissy. So here's a property. Um, Deca Homes, 15000 monthly. They want one month security deposit, two months. And uh, it's not much to look at. We can open some of these fit pictures for mm -hmm. you. 
Uh, here's a nice house. Um, it's located in Diamond Heights in Davao. Four bedroom, two common baths, and they're asking 30000 a month. That's a nice That's looking, nice. like a townhouse community. It's a nice house for 30000 pesos a yeah, month. Yeah, I think so. Here's one, um, Molave Homes, and they're... Not telling us what they're eight thousand. Here's eight thousand a month, Chrissy. Not bad. Yeah, and we don't I think know. It's not furniture. And we don't know the exact location. And real estate, Chrissy, it's all about location, location, location. Here's a condo on the seventh floor, and uh, more details. And they want thirty-five thousand. Let's take a look at this. How much was it? Thirty-five thousand a month. A month. Hmm. Let's look at that some more. Washing machine. Nothing special, but seventh yeah. floor. You might be a little bit away from the noise. Mm -hmm. Dining room table. Here's a fully furnished uh, 520 square meter lot, 600 square meter floor area, and they want 80,000 pesos. Let's see what you get. It's a beautiful covered garage area. Yeah, it's very wide garage. Very nice. Very private. Looks like beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 80,000. Must be in a really nice neighborhood. Yeah. Real mattress. That's a nice mattress. In the Philippines, huge. you don't get mattresses like that. I'm not so sure about the colors. And blue room. You get the blue room. Okay. And then here's a two-story house and lot for sale. What is that going to cost? $17 million is going to get you a two-story house and lot for sale. So it's like $305,000, $315,000, something like that, U.S. dollars. We're going to go and we're going to cover Dumaguete. We're going to cover Cagayan de Oro. We're going to cover Cebu City. And we're going to cover... Um, Baguio, up in the mountains where the weather really never gets more than like 73 okay. degrees. So we're going to run through these pretty quick. We, so they're going to mix in a lot of these for sale. There's an assumption. But it's all there. If you're interested in Davao, go ahead and check it out. 8500000 for this property. Okay, Chrissy, let's go ahead and move on. This is home for sale or rent in Dumaguete. 14,000 members. There may be two or three other of these groups. Let's see what we got. House for rent. 2,500 pesos a month. You get, a, you, get, you get to live like a local. Okay. Yeah. This place is 13,500 a month. A studio unit. So you're getting a studio unit here for 13,500. It's just a little over $200 mm -hmm. a month. So very inexpensive units can be found. Yeah. And they're selling iPhones. Okay, this is 50,000 with, um, they want 50,000. Now, it doesn't look much. Must be a good location. Maybe. Near, near hospitals, universities. Let's see what's yeah, going on here. Yeah, of the city. Okay, it's not a bad living room, but I, I don't know about 50,000. That's very nice. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. That's nice. So it's kind of, that's a nice yard. Yes, it nice is. Nice grass. It's gated. Yeah. 50K. It's, Probably a foam mattress there, I would but, think. But, you know, we uh, we are paying 50K in this house that we're living right now. I don't think if I'm going to swap yeah, it to I, that. I don't think so either. This place wants 16,000 pesos. That's build your dream house. This is an interesting-looking house. High-speed internet. You get the whole building, three-story building. It's and for sale. 35,000. Is, is it for sale or rent, yes. maybe? Lease or rent to own. Oh, yeah. Okay. 35,000 a month. Let's take a look at it. It's actually not bad. It's okay. And let's see what else we got here. This yeah, is uh, pretty. Newly built, furnished pretty. apartment, two story, available in May, one bedroom big, two toilets. Let's see. It doesn't look That's too good. bad. I kind of like this. Yes, how much? Uh, I got to check. Hold on. Um, 30,000 30, a month. So it's about yeah. 550. US. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Um, you just don't know the level of noise. It's really a big impact too. Yeah, we suggest you take a very short-term lease initially and check out the neighborhood, check out a unit. You you know, start with an Airbnb for a couple of nights or a hotel room for a couple of nights. I said this the other day, Chrissy, it's the wrong time to be a cheap Charlie. Your first, like your first night in town, yeah, get a cheap hotel room by the airport. You're so tired. It doesn't really matter. You're not doing anything. You're not entertaining. But your second, third, maybe fourth night is not the time to be a cheap Charlie. You don't want to be in the worst part mm -hmm. of the Philippines with traffic and noise and you have no idea where to go. You haven't met the expat community yet and maybe that Filipina, you know, didn't show up at the airport or maybe she's not the right one for you and now you're there on your own in a really bad unit that you had no idea what you're getting into so then once you're there you can start to 
go out and look at these properties. 9,000 uh, studio apartment. Here's a place they want 50,000 per month. Let's take a closer look at this. That's what we're paying. So it's, it's nice. window air conditioner, which I'm not, there's a split in that room. I kind of always want to have a split air conditioner if possible. These are very uncomfortable it's furniture, couch. though. It's not heavy, but yeah, not even I don't think a Westerner wants to sit in yeah. there. It looks good. Nice, heavy wood table. table. Big, full-size refrigerator, microwave. There's, there's got to be a reason they're asking that price, so it must be in a good neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says. Um, Tierra Alta, Valencia. Valencia. So it's well, up, Valencia yeah. is um, um, Better a little bit yeah, asking breezy. A, asking the one, you know, here's another pre-selling units. This is an interesting property. Eighty-five okay. cash out. Here's a small house. Fifth, another fifty thousand. That's the same. Same one. Yeah. Okay. Should we? Oh, look at this one here. Built in two thousand nineteen. House for rent, and they want thirty-five thousand. This is probably yeah. what a lot of people are willing to spend. That looks very yeah. nice. Very nice. I like this. For the money, I think this is a pretty the best yeah, house we've seen so far. Okay. Yeah. Big, big open kitchen, yeah. full size for a big dining room table. Yeah, I just don't know about the location, but the house itself looks pretty good. It's gated. Yeah, and like I said, I used to own, so it's 200 square meters, 2153 square feet, three bedrooms, three baths, carport, monthly rental 35. They want two months deposit, mm -hmm. contact numbers right there in the Philippines. And 35000 What do you think about uh, the Dumaguete? I think they're less expensive than see That house here yes. is about 45000 If I'm going to pick of all those houses that we scanned in Dumaguete area, yeah. I think I'm going to pick that. Uh, yeah, of course, location, location. Yeah. You have no idea if you need a car, can you, mm -hmm. can you walk to a grocery store? What? So let's go next to Cebu City. Cebu. Okay. So this website, Chrissy, is House for Rent Cebu, 26.7K members. But that house. Yeah, 20,000 pesos. That's a nice looking house. No, like Cebu 20? City. 20,000. It's gated, but we don't know where it is. This is one of the problems. We're, you know, we don't, we don't live in Cebu City. Mm -hmm. But it's a. It's good for 20. For 20, K. it's clean. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah, it's a gate. You love the gate. Yes. Now, it's here is a fully furnished assumption 1.2 million. 18,000. This is pretty big space. Uh, Banawa, okay, 18,000. Um, two bedrooms, two toilets, beautiful pool on near pool. the water. What's going on here? Water beach view, 50,000 monthly. There's your location. Yeah. How do you pronounce that? Ginsa Danau. Danau. Oh, yeah. So it's got a maze room, two beds, two toilets with a maze room right on the beach. Look at, the, look at these pictures. Beautiful pool. Maybe you want to switch in that place. You want to trade with us for a couple of months a year, yeah. Look at that. Look, Look at, that. at that. It just it reminds me of um, Palawan. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, more view than house, I'd say, but yeah. it's it's not bad. I you know if you want to live large, and you're not looking to have eight thousand a month. You can have a nice home like this, um, a real tall roof, like they're expecting snow. There's an attic. Yeah, well, maybe. Uh, let's see. Uh, Happy Valley, Rama, Cebu City, two-bedroom unit for rent. And we have to find out the price. 16 k per month, yeah. Okay, two bedrooms, one toilet, five minutes to Gaizano and shop-wise. And mystery priced. 8 k 8 k wow, so cheap. That's like $150 a month. Yeah, yeah. it's like, um, more like, we like, um... House, shop, it's like Philippines. our our grocery bill was our two week grocery bill was more than that. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, so here we got a fully furnished thirty square meter one bedroom, and let's see what that's going to cost. Twenty seventh condo dues one month. Uh, it's it's, it's a at a condo. Let's see if there's anything we're that's missing not, here. That's not it. Here. Oh, this one. Oh, thank you. Is that leather? Probably not. I like the modern uh, nature of the... Yeah, not bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard. These pictures, I, I think it's not going to look as good as these. Oh, there we go. This looks like the condo we stayed in when we were in Dubai. Oh, in Cebu. This is Cebu. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's get a couple more. 
Just to give you a feel, this is what we wanted, 32 k for this house in Liloan. Liloan. Fully Liloan. furnished. Okay, we had a fully Liloan. furnished four-bedroom home. Uh, it looks more like a town home, but it's a home. Some nice shade. Some nice garden. garden. Good if you have a pet. Dining room table. Nice. It's not bad. Yeah, it's 35. It's a lot of house for 35 if the location works for you. Yes. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of... Um, high-rise condos in Cebu City. We we have a friend, Kerry, that came to see us, and he's renting like four months, um, 25,000 pesos a month. He's up on like the 20th floor or something of one of the best buildings in Cebu City. And, you know, it's a, it's an efficiency, a studio, bachelor, mm -hmm. um, you know, where the bed's in the main room. But uh, this way he can travel around the Philippines and just leave it empty. He's only paying like $450 a month, uh, but it's walking distance to uh, Ayala Mall. You mm -hmm. go meet the buddies at Bo's Coffee. So that's also an option in Cebu City. Yeah. What, yeah. what condo was, did we stay in Cebu, Manchester? We were in uh, on uh, Mocktown Newtown. Yeah. Now, a lot of people stay in Mocktown Newtown. It's like a miniature IT park of sorts mm -hmm. and it's got a Savoy hotel and it's got some it's got a McDonald's maybe and 7-Eleven uh, yeah. it, and it's not crowded it's not crowded but like I have a client who's going to stay there the first few nights in Cebu but I feel it's a little isolated um, but if it's a good place to go take an ex excursion down to mm -hmm. Opal to swim with the whale sharks and it's a beautiful Opal? for Opal the mobile, mobile Opal yeah if, if you want to just not be in the and, but it's going to take you 45 minutes off traffic to get downtown Cebu City. But if you're rested and you're willing to venture downtown mm -hmm. on a taxi, it's only like $12, 14 I think. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not really downtown Cebu City. Cebu City's just got a lot of traffic. It's got people like it because it's a great jumping out. You can catch ferries to CDO, to Dumaguete, you can get a ferry to Iloilo. You can get a ferry and, or flights all over the Visayas. So it's really good for that. Yeah, but just so traffic. Mm. Let's go up into the mountains. Let's take a trip up into the mountains of Baguio, the retreat of the presidents. Yeah. People love Baguio. It's sort of the, the number one vacation spot for for Filipinos, don't you think? Especially now that we're having a heat wave. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's been 94 degrees for like four weeks in a row. Yeah. But actually, here it's not too bad when... In the, in a time Outside, like this. Yeah, this, we've had it up on this patio. We get it crazy breeze, and yeah. it's not bad. As long as the sun's not, we have shade this time of mm -hmm. day. But in the house, it's quite hot, and we turned on our air conditioner. We were bragging about how we didn't need it. Yes. January fifteenth until April tenth. It's just like the nature was listening. Let's see if you're uh, not going to use your AC. It was like there was AC. no school the other day because it was Yesterday. so hot. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Baguio. So this is Baguio House and Rooms for Rent. 168,000 members. So a lot of interest. Now they're going to try and sell everything in this group. But um, Baguio is a real tourist town, a university town. Uh, people are going to rent rooms and apartments and condos. And there are not as many houses in this particular um, Facebook group. Mm -hmm. We may be going to Baguio in a couple of weeks. We have not yet purchased tickets yes. or decided. We're just not sure if we want to spend the overnight on the bus from Manila. It's too expensive to fly there, I think. Yes. Yeah. Help me comment down. Say yes, yes, yes to Baguio. What's the right answer? <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got. Um, so here's a two-bedroom unit with kitchen, veranda. Um, and they're asking... Two Philippine pesos, two, whatever that means, maybe 20,000. Yeah, it's a mystery. Uh, here's a nice property. Studio type. It says, what does it say? Studio type apartment. They're asking, Philip, 123, maybe it's 12,300. Interesting way of listing this. Um, for a rent, whole house, three floors. Look at that. And they want 28,000 a month. Not bad. You can't sit on the couch, apparently. <laughs> um, so let's see what we got here. I like that other house in Cebu City better for... Yeah, I think the rentals in Baguio, since it's like a tourist, tourist place, place yeah. it's kind of like pricey. Yeah, here's an apartment, an apartment for 18000 a month. That's not bad. I'm sure when you get in there, it's real tiny. Mm -hmm. The question is, can you walk to restaurants? Can you walk to shopping? Here's 13000 a month for four people. Uh, they want a housemate that's female. There's 15,000 um, city near the city center. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to bounce around, this will give you a good idea. Uh, here's a condo for rent, and they want 25,000. Let's take a look. 
It's just okay. It's, it's kind of skinny. Yeah, it's skinny. narrow. Very narrow. It's got that uncomfortable. What's that Japanese bed called again? Um, yeah. That's a good picture, actually. But mm -hmm. I think it's very narrow. Yeah, it's not. They use these ultra-wide-angle lenses. Um, a room. Apartment 2. This is interesting. This is 30,000. I think this is what you're going to find for a decent place. Mm -hmm. 30,000. The couch is covered. Small kitchen. Bunk beds. This is, you know, for tourists. Like, you're bringing the whole yeah. family. Yeah. They can re and beautiful view there on the porch. Let's go back to that real quick. Look yeah. at that. That's what people want in Baguio. Yeah, we're seeing that lights. kind of city lights here. Right here also. on our patio. Yeah, we can yeah. look down the And here is a um, semi furnished apartment for long term, 18,000. So it gives you just, we don't want to dwell on it too long, but it gives you an idea. Mm -hmm. And we've done everything but CDO. C C Previously, uh, Chrissy, we published 25. Um, Rental rentals problems. here in CDO uh, from 8,000 pesos a month all the way up to 80,000 pesos a month. And what mm -hmm. we're going to do is we're going to switch our format and we're going to revisit. And we have a whole other video, if you want to watch that video, where we talk about uh, signing a short-term lease, signing a long-term lease, things to look mm -hmm. out for, water pressure, insects, creepy crawlers, you know, how to negotiate down your deposit. You know, here in the Philippines, a lot of people, when they give a security deposit, they don't expect to get it back. <laughs> they just don't pay their last month or two months rent. And a lot of Filipino landlords are used to it and they deal with it and they let you stay in the house and consume your security mm -hmm. deposit. Hard to get. Our last house, we had a problem with rooster noise and we had to leave and we lost our deposit. Yeah. She actually promised to give us back half but then reneged for some mysterious reason <laughs> just because she could and we just you know yeah. yeah being a foreigner here in the philippines i probably didn't bend my sword like i should have so let's go ahead and revisit and i'll just show you real quick house for rent this is the one where we found this house okay. and right now i i noticed earlier it's not loading but real quick just some of the ones that here's a two bedroom for eight thousand uh, in CDO, you know, it's going to be loud. It's going to be noisy. It's probably not a very good mm -hmm. neighborhood. We don't really know. Uh, here's now we used to live. Grand Europa has like a thousand homes and six or seven small subdivisions Oops. within the big subdivision. <laughs> yeah, we live in La Moran Old, which is was the most expensive subdivision of the eight. But this is La Moran Crest. It's going to be a three bedroom home. Uh, that's the parking space. It's not gated. Um, the construction quality is not too good. Mm -hmm. um, Eighteen thousand a month is kind of a fair price for an unfurnished. Yeah. Uh, this one's semi-furnished. Semi. Here's a studio uh, in Kawasagan, uh, third floor, fully furnished. Fifteen thousand. Okay, so it's not bad. Here's a really rough house. Um, Sixty-five hundred a month. Uh, Kawasagan again. Yeah. So the the most expensive subdivision, I think, is Phil Am, and you can walk right to SM. It's, yeah. But it's not going to get these breezes, and you're not going to get these views. But really, it's Phil Am, Phil, Filipino American. It's kind of, I think, a breeze. Yeah. It's a lot of retired military Filipinos. Yeah. And, and um, you will only see like big houses. Big there, houses. Normally. Good houses. The Xavier Estates is another subdivision that's mm -hmm. really well regarded, and big. Nicely located. Here is now. This is thirteen hundred a night um, in uh, Granvia Residence. It's in Masterson Avenue. This is you know on the main drag near Uptown. Twenty four dollars a night, roughly. Here is a pad in Kawasagan, and then this website is not currently working. So we're going to flash you of the mm -hmm. CDO properties. It's like a two minute reel. We'll flash that yeah. to you. Yeah. Property number one, 17,000 pesos, approximately $300. It's in a subdivision in Uptown Cagayan de Oro. It's a condo, 15,000 pesos, two bedrooms, one toilet and bath. This property is asking 60,000 per month in the Hillsboro Point subdivision. This property is fantastic in the Jasan area. 80,000 pesos a month. Look at what you can get. Approximately 1,500 US dollars. This house for 20,000 pesos is in the Montiera subdivision. It's guard gated. It has a community pool. It's the base model. Here's a property in La Buena Vida, 25K per month in Opal. It's a neighborhood we rented a property for Chrissy's family. It's a very congested neighborhood, traditional homes. Here's a property that's 35,000 pesos per month. It actually looks really good. This property was asking 40,000 pesos a month. Just gorgeous. Look at the size of that property. Now, here's a property for 12,000 
Philippine pesos per month. It's two bedroom and a bath. It'll do. Chrissy, I'm getting a lot of clients that are interested in private consultation, mm -hmm. sometimes about real estate. Sometimes they want you to look at a fake passport or identify <laughs> other BS things that are going on with their Filipina. You can email us at flymetothephilippines at gmail.com. Until next time. Only here. From Fly Me to the Philippines. Take us out, Chrissy. See you in our next video.